Okay. Seven three is percents and decimals. How would I write these numbers as percent? How would you write zero point six two as a percent? Yes. Yeah. So you move the decimal point two spaces over. For and so number. then it becomes what? 62%. So that first one is 62%. So if I have 0 0.62, if I want to write it as a percent, I move this decimal and I get 62%. How do I write 1 as a percent? 100. 100. Uh, just, what? What do I do? It's 1. No. What do you have to do with the decimal always? Point zero. Move it over two. So then you get one hundred percent. What? Okay. Well, how do I write two point three as a percent, Caitlin? Two hundred and thirty. Two hundred and thirty percent. I move this decimal over twice. You got to add a zero there. So two hundred and thirty percent. Okay. Good. So if I'm writing decimals as percents, let's then write percents as decimals. If I move the decimal twice to the right on uh, decimals to percents, what do you think I'm going to do with percents? Do the opposite. Good. Move it to the left twice, right? So if I have 75, right? Okay. What do I have to do with this decimal, Breen? Move it to the left. How many times? Twice. So I get. Um, 0 0.75. Yeah, 0 0.75, or just 0.75, you can write it either way. Okay, if I have 0 0.4%, how do I move that? To the left. To the left, so I go 1, 2. two. What does that mean I have to add here? 0 0.004. 0 .004. So you get 0.004. Good. And if I have 168%, Carter, what do I do? Mm -mm. What am I going to do? I move the decimal. Which way? You start at the end. You start at the oh, end. Oh, okay. We're doing good. Good. There should be a decimal right here. Where do I move it? To the left. To the left, so I get what? 1.68. 1. 1. Okay. Oh, Changing it to decimals, yeah. Good morning. This is going to be easy. Okay. So we are doing that as the first part of our lesson. Easy peasy, yes? Is there a second part? The second part is going to involve word problems with percent. That's nice. <laughs> okay. So the African pygmy hippo is the smallest species of hippopotamus. Suppose a common adult hippo weighs 5,600 pounds. An adult pygmy hippo's weight is 10.5% of that, of the common adult hippo's weight. How much does the adult pygmy hippo weigh? How can I put, set up an equation to solve? Free you want to give me? Okay, 10.5. It's point 10. Is it 10.5 over 100 equals? Are you want doing that proportion thing? We again? can. We can set it up that okay. way. There's several ways to set this up. So you said 10.5 over 100, 100 equals. Um, what, X? I don't know. Okay, we'll t we'll do your way in a minute, Carter. Five thousand six hundred X. I'm sorry. X well, that's this that's goes a, with what? Ten point five percent goes with the pygmy or with the original adult? Oh, the common adult <coughs> pygmy. Well, pig <coughs> adult pygmy weight is ten point five percent like of. Oh, 5,600 Yes, and we're trying to figure out how big a normal adult is or a... Pygmy. Okay, so which one's the X then? Uh, the top. The top, because it has to go with the 10.5%. Is it and then set of? Yes. Now, you can set up that way and we can cross multiply, yes? Yeah. When we do that, we get 100X... Uh, equals um, something, something. Yeah, what's 10.5 times 5,600? I don't know that. Uh, uh, 58800. Yeah, 58,000. Now what do you do with that? Uh, divide by 100. And so you just did? take the zeros off, so, yeah. uh, 580. Okay. Now, Carter, what is the easier way that we can do this? That's, there's an easier way? Mm -hmm. You do point ten zero five. Yep. Five times... <coughs> Uh, what is that number? I'll tell you. He's saying this. If I change this and move this decimal over, mm -hmm. okay, I can get 0.105 times 
find 5,600, oh. what do you get? Yeah, 588. Yeah, 588. Wow. You can do it either way. But whichever way you do it, you have to show me work. Okay. Yes. So if it's the percent, so you just, just change it. Uh-huh. You want to change it into a decimal? So if you have the percent, you're changing it into a decimal and multiplying it by the, the whole. That's uh, really quick. Okay. Do you guys have questions on any of this? No. Then I'm going to give you homework, and you should be able to finish on a chapel day. Are we, um, how much is it? Or how much homework do we